know, I come from New York City. I'm a Jewish family, so that's a, the liberal Northeast. So the idea that the 13 states had segregation, this was madness to us. But it was a way of life to other people. I'd never been anywhere. And so when the first reports came of uprising, I said, this is it. This is an uprising. And, and I quickly heard the term movement. And I said, well, this is a there's a revolution going on. This is, was done in Albany, Georgia. It was done in 1962. It, in terms of the media, they did not know that there was a civil rights movement in 1962. There are plenty of photographers who took pictures like this, but, but this was part of a movement, and I was told to make this picture by, by a black organization, the black leader, who basically said, you're a white guy, you can go in there and do this, we can't. So this picture was made about 50 miles from that spot. It was made about a year later. They had been arrested for a month, and their parents didn't know where they were. In other words, they, there were no charges, no nothing. They just vanished. And I basically, through the movement, found them and was smuggled in and took these pictures through the window. And because of the pictures, they were liberated. Problem. I know we can work it out. Cause that kind of honesty others only dream about. This is all I need, and all I wanted to. All these people were members of the SNCC staff. She would become, that's Judy Richardson, she's 15. Or, uh, this is Chico Neblet. Uh, these are all important people. Uh, uh, here, this guy here is this guy. He's 17, his name's Taylor Washington. It's the same person. He's a teenager and he's a professional at being arrested. He's done this many, many, many times. So they were in a demonstration being dragged out and bringing them one by one. He saw me standing there. And so he starts screaming, he's been killed. Interestingly, this would become very famous. And, and I, I had an uncle who helped raise me an attorney. And he went to Russia, he brings back Pravda was Vestia, and on page two, on the cover is this picture. It says, Danny Lyon, Police Brutality USA. That was again, only it was like 1972 or 10 years later. The sun don't shine for me anymore Since my sweet girl that I love They put down the 60s, which is ridiculous, because that's how our American Revolution is, is the 60s. But they say, oh, the 60s is violent, turmoil, chaos. And they put down Occupy. I mean, even civil rights people say, oh, they didn't have a program, or they didn't last, or they didn't do nothing. None of those things are true. You know, change happens slowly. In revolutions, it happens quickly, but it happens, and 
it's really only far in the future that you can point in the back and say, you know, this woman, she was the first one to ever do that. This little group, they did that. They did this. And it, it's like a pebble and, and it's growing and growing and, and the world changes.